Watch this video if you want to get type 2 diabetes. This video is going to be really good. This is about insulin resistance and about how people really get on their way to type 2 diabetes. Insulin is made in the pancreas and then it is dispersed by the liver. So once we eat carbs, carbohydrates, whether it's simple carbs, fake carbs, processed carbs, or uh, regular complex carbs, your pancreas wakes up, it wakes up all the other little guys in your pancreas and they all get to work. Now they're breaking down your food, the in it produces insulin, it starts breaking down your food, right, like a drummer, and then it's gonna send it off to the liver and the liver dispenses it out to where it needs to go. That is a, the, a working and a well-functioning pancreas. Now, what happens when people's pancreas shuts down is when the people is when people stop having carbohydrates whether it's simple or complex carbs you stop having carbs like for instance the people that do the famous and the very dangerous keto diet these people that oh, eliminate carbs completely from your diet what happens is your pancreas will shut the f down now your pancreas binds a plane ticket and all his friends inside the pancreas and they're all going to Curacao for a six month vacation to get a tan. Why? Because it doesn't have a job anymore. It no longer has a job to perform because you stopped eating carbohydrates. So now when this person eventually in the future decides to have a piece of bread, they're going to overspill and the pancreas is going to overflow and you're going to cause damage because the pancreas doesn't know how to break it down and the pancreas doesn't know what to do with it. So now what happens is when these people that have been on these no carb diets for a very long time and they're going to get this anxiety because now the brain starts sending a signal and it's getting desperate for food, your dopamine starts sending a signal that you want a piece of carb, what happens is you're going to eat a whole bunch of bread or a whole bunch of pasta or a whole bunch of just carbs and you're going to overflow the pancreas because the pancreas has been on vacation. So now you're basically calling them back to work, do, 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 do. hey pancreas and, and, the, and the workers please come back to work because I'm going to have this whole loaf of bread with butter. So what's going to happen is it's going to overload because the pancreas has been on vacation and now it's going to maybe kind of wake up but it's really not going to wake up because you're going to overload it with way too much stimulus and it's not going to be able to break it down and perform its job. So what you have to do is to start introducing carbohydrates again very very slowly whether it's an ounce or two ounces, two ounces to three ounces and then three ounces to four. You have to do it very very slowly. You have to taper back up again because this is how you have to introduce it so that the, the pancreas can start getting used to having carbohydrates and start getting used to it having a job because you put it back to work. So now what happens is when somebody becomes insulin resistance is now when a person starts eating way too many carbs, especially the fake, the synthetic, and the processed sugars like your high fructose corn syrup, the ones that cause an addiction, what's going to happen is you're going to overload your pancreas because what happens is the pancreas and the body doesn't recognize what this is and the body does not know how to break it down so it starts just setting itself off somewhere and you're going to end up spilling, overflowing and causing insulin resistance. So what happens is these people can have either a giant bowl of pasta, a giant bowl of bread, a giant pizza, lots of cheese, lots of you know waffles, pancakes, cookies, candy bars, muffins, tw uh, Twinkies, whatever, and you are going to overload your pancreas. The pancreas is going to shut down because it's going to get tired. It's going to get tired and it's just going to go, I can't do it. I can't keep up with all of the junk that you're feeding me. And so it will basically shut down and now you've created uh, insulin resistance and now you created your pre-diabetes -di type 2. So this is, this is what happens when you are now pre-diabetic type 2 diabetes and you will create your own monster. The people with type 2 diabetes, you will create that monster all on your own. So what people need to do in this situation is basically change and retweak and exactly regroup and restructure their entire diet. Remove processed sugars and remove the simple carbohydrates and just remove the starchy carbohydrates and just have simple carbs but only to what your body needs per meal. Now one step further is we're going to talk about bodybuilders that use insulin. I am not a fan. When I do cycles for men, I do not include insulin. I am not a fan of, of people or men using insulin. Yes, all the guys in the open do. That's why they're giant enormous that's why they're 300 pounds because who the hell is going to be really 300 pounds and 300 pounds of muscle so what happens is these guys when you take insulin when you don't need it when you don't need it your body your pancreas is going to shut down because it's already getting insulin from another outside source so when it doesn't need it right but you're still the insulin is coming in insulin's coming in you're having more carbohydrates insulin is coming in more carbohydrates you have to eat insulin coming in your pancreas is going to shut down because it does not need to work because it's getting in from an outside source so this is what happens when 
a bodybuilder takes insulin when they don't need it. They can also cause the pancreas to shut down because the insulin is still coming in from an outside source. So this is why it's super important to have simple sugars but at specific times and complex carbs at specific times as well. So for instance, simple sugars such as honey, natural fruits that stimulate the insulin, you do it naturally. You can do it with some fruits and the best times to do it is in the first meal in the morning. Why? Because your glucose level is low, you've been fasting all night. You get up in the morning and you will eat your food and you will have either honey with fruits or honey and a banana. That is the best time to have complex carbs along with simple sugars. Also before your meal because you need that energy for simple fast acting sugars to stimulate the glucose which is gonna fuel you for your work and then of course after the workout when you have depleted your glucose and the glycogen storage in your muscles you want to go ahead and replace and restore them with either a fruit or carbohydrates immediately after your workout so these are these are needed both simple and complex carbs especially the complex carbs as well throughout the entire day so that you can keep your muscle anabolic nice dense round and full that's the end of the video hope you like that if you have a comment because I know you do put your little fingers to work like, share, subscribe, comment. Don't be selfish, share the video and write a comment so we can interact. By the way, end of the month is coming up so I'm gonna be putting in my community, for those of you that always ask, where can you ask questions? Go to the community where my pictures are and you can write your questions when I put them up, when I put up the queue for the Q&A. Go ahead and write your questions down and we'll get that done. Okay, everybody, like, subscribe, ring the bell, have a great week.